Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I'm actually going to be starting a new series on uh, introduction to programming. So, if uh, if you know me, you know that I am a a programming instructor, um, and uh, I I do this all the time, all week, every quarter, teach programming. So, uh, one thing that I really like most is kind of the introduction of programming because it breaks down the walls that everybody has in the in their mind on how programming works and how to start programming and all of that. So I wanted to start on a uh, video series on introduction to programming. So uh, what we're going to be using, uh, we're going to be using C++, so get Visual Studio. Uh, if you're on a Mac or Linux, use code blocks, it's fairly similar. Um, I don't really need to go through showing you how to set these up. They're fairly simple. There's tons of tutorials on YouTube to find out how to set up these. But if you're going to follow along with me, get uh, Visual Studio uh, C++, uh, which I think there's an express version. But Visual Studio gives out their tools for free. Not the ultimate one, but the express ones uh, are all for free. So you can go and find that. Uh, it's fairly easy. Uh, Oh, my screen is all messed up here. There we go. Alright, so uh, what I want to do to start off is do something interesting. Uh, rather than getting straight to code, I want to go over this fun concept of binary. Uh, we all know binary. We've all seen the matrix, zeros and ones, ones and zeros, all over the place. And uh, what is this concept of binary? Uh, if you guys like mathematics, you're probably pretty familiar with it. We are in base 10 because we have 10 fingers, uh, and we count on our hands, or the closest numbered things to our face. So, uh, we, we count through uh, 0, and we go to 9. So, uh, you may say, well, 10 and whatever, but no, 10 is recycled numbers. So we have 10 unique numbers in our number system, that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, and 9. These are our unique numbers that we choose to recycle. Now, we recycle these numbers over and over and over again in order to make up an infinite number of numbers. So, for example, what we'll do is we'll say, we'll start counting at 0 because 0 is a number. And we'll say 1, 2, 3, etc. We get to 9, and guess what we do? We add 0 to the right and add 1 to the left. We have 10. So if I did this properly, we would count 0, 1, 2, until we got to 9. And then we would say, well, 9 is our, the next number is uh, for 9 is 0 because uh, that we don't have any more numbers. So we add 1 to the left to keep track of how many of those we've had. The easiest way to think of this is to think of those bike locks. Those bike locks have those uh, turnstiles where you just keep spinning it and what happens when you reach 9? It goes back, uh, let's say 0. And once you reach 9 it goes back to 0. It just keeps going in a cycle and that's the same thing that we do with our number system. So binary, binary has 0, uh, sorry, it has 0 and 1. It has two numbers in its number system. This is its entire number system. It's a 0 and a 1. So guess what? When we count in binary we say 0, 1, when we get to our maximum, we reset to 0 and add 1 to the left. This will be 2, 3, 4. So this is how we do things in binary. Just like in our number system, we say 0, count up to 9. This is 10, we count up to 19, reset this to 0, increment this by 1. Right? We count up to 9, return this to 0, increment this by 1. Now we have 30. And we keep doing that, and then when we reach 99, reset to 0, increment by 1, which becomes 0, because we reset the dial. So we have 0, 0, and then add 1 to the left. And then it keeps on going. We add 1 to the left, reset these to 0. Now, you may be saying this is quite elementary, which, yes, indeed it is. But understanding the concept of it is pretty important to understanding it as a whole. So, uh, you understand now that if I wrote this, this in binary is 4, because we counted 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We counted 4 times. 
or we incremented from zero four times. So uh, that's uh, great. Now you know how to add up in binary, but now we want to know what this is in binary. And we can't just look at that and say, oh, I know what it is, uh, whatever. In our number system, we do that really quickly. We say it's 1,010. Now, let's go over that concept. So, this is the number 1,000. This is our ones place. This is our tens place. This is our hundredths place. And this is our thousandths place. Why is this the thousandths place? Well, let's think about it. We always start with a ones place. This is our beginner. What is 1 times our base 10? We have 10 unique numbers. 0 through 9. 1 times 10 is what? It's 10. Well, guess what? There's 10, our next column. What is 10 times 10? It's 100. Look, that's our next column. What is 100 times 10? We just keep multiplying by our base number. That's 1,000. So we get these columns by multiplying the previous column by our base number and our base number it just means how many numbers we have in our number system 0 through 9 is 10 numbers including 0 so just multiply each one by 10 and we'll get the next step and likewise the next one will be 10,000 10 times a thousand is 10,000 so now we get into new magic why did we know that this in our number system was 1010? Well, easy. What is this number times its place? 1 times 1000 is 1000. What is 10 times that number in its place? It's 10. So 1000 plus 10 is 1010. So 1000 and 10. Just like, uh, for example, if we had the number 1,100, let's say 1,127. So we have 1,127. We just say each number. Likewise, if we multiply them by their bases, 1 times, uh, let's make this 2, uh, just or 3, just to be cool. So 3 times 1,000 gives us 3,000. 3,000 uh, plus the next number, which is 1 times 100. 1 times 100 is 100. 2 times 10 is 20, and 1 times 7 is 7. 3,120, or I could say this, 3,127. So that's how we do our numbers. So does binary have an equivalent? Yes. So if I put this up for binary, what is it? We always start with our ones place. There are two unique numbers in binary, 0 and 1. So what is 1 times 2? It's 2. So this is our toothes place. What is 2 times 2? It's 4. This is our fourths place. What is 2 times 4? That would be 8. So this is our eighths place. So this is 1 times 8. 1 times 8 is 8. 0 times 4 is 0. 1 times 2 is 2. And 0 times 1 is 0. So if we take this and we add it up, we have 8 plus 2. This number, 1010, 0, 0, is equivalent to 10 in base 10. So I hope that magic felt amazing to you because it feels amazing to me every time I do it. So if I had a huge number, like or not a huge number, but if I had a number like 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, this is my ones, 2, 4, 8, 16. This should be uh, becoming familiar with you. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. So we have 32 plus, not this, not this, plus 4, not this, plus 1. So there you go. We have 37. Uh, so we can add that up just like that. So this number 100101 zero, 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 one is binary for 37. So that's all binary is. It's not big, mystical, magical. It used the same exact principles we use to do our everyday math. It's just that it only has a maximum of two numbers in its number space. So, uh, or two unique numbers, I should say, in its number space. 
So uh, I hope that was cool. And in the next tutorial, we will be jumping straight into programming, figuring out what uh, things are inside of code and uh, all of that stuff. So I'll see you in the next video.